Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to write um, Likud 443 questions string compression um, in Python. So, give an array of characters compressed in place. Um, so, after you've done modifying input array um, in place, return the length, the new length of the array. So let's say an example A A B B C C C should be compressed to A2, B2, and C3. Um, and the output is the length of the new array, which is 6. Um, input A should output 1 because the new array should just be A. Uh, the 1 should be omitted because um, if it's A1, then the length is uh, 2, which is um, even longer than the original array, and it doesn't serve the purpose of compression, right? And third example, A and B, 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 there are actually 12 Bs, so the, out, um, the new array is actually A, B, 1, 2, because A appeared once, and 1 is omitted, B appeared 12 times, uh, but uh, the twelves are splitted into one and two. So note that um, we should uh, modify the input array in place. Um, so by in place, uh, you should not uh, return a new array. Rather, you should um, so. Rather, the original array should be overridden with, with this new input. So, for example, A2, B2, C3, right? So the A here should be overwritten by 2, and B, uh, B here should be overwritten by 2, and C here should be should overwritten by 3. And, um, and also, what we are returning is not the new array. Rather, it's the length of the new array. Okay, um, so um, because uh, we have to count, we, we, we have to replace this one uh, with two, the frequency of the element, and we should replace this one with the frequency, which is the two, and we should replace this one with its uh, frequency, which is 3. So mm, we must have a count. Um, so we must have a, like a variable called count because we are counting the frequencies, right? And um, also we will introduce um, a variable called I, so and J. So we in, will initialize I at the zeros position, and uh, we will initialize J at the first position, and making J traversing from the first index all the way to the end, and uh, um, then use the uh, index I to. I'll uh, do the overrating, um, overrating uh, process. I will just show you my code um, and uh, and show you what I mean by this. So I will retrieve last submitted code. Okay. So we initialize i as a zeros position, and we initialize count as one. And we'll initialize j at the 1's position. So for j in range 1, starting from 1 all the way till the end, from 1 till the end. Um, so if so, j is at the first position. If this, posi this uh, character at this position is the same as its previous one, we'll increase count by 1. So this, this is what it does. So we are making sure j is not out of range, and uh, the character as j's position 